And right now we're breaking new information after the deadly shooting at Arapahoe High School. These images difficult to forget. A student opening fire and killing a fellow classmate. And tonight we're learning more about a loophole in the law that's allowing the worst incident of school violence in Colorado from last year to go unreported. And Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon is here now. Kelly, this is a loophole that you first exposed some time ago. That's exactly right, Mike. Schools are only required to report incidents for which students are disciplined. That means according to the state's records on school violence, it's as if that tragic shooting never happened. December 13th, Colorado watched in horror as students streamed out of Arapahoe High. The gunman, 18-year-old Carl Pearson, opened fire on classmates in the hallway, killing 17-year-old Claire Davis, then taking his own life, too. But in the school's annual report to the state, just obtained by the Call 7 investigators, zero first and second degree assaults, zero dangerous weapons. Schools are required to notify the Colorado Department of Education each year about crimes on campus, but only when a student is disciplined. There's obviously a problem in the reporting system if it doesn't show up on this report. State Representative Polly Lawrence says it highlights a serious problem with the current law. That doesn't reflect what actually happened happened at that high school and it raises questions about other schools across the state. So we're not quite as many as law enforcement agencies. Just yesterday, Lawrence called a meeting of education officials, law enforcement and school administrators to begin overhauling that law. Those discussions prompted by a call seven investigation this spring that exposed widespread underreporting by schools and a state education department failing to hold those schools accountable. Lauren says the fact that state law didn't require Arapahoe High to report Claire Davis's death is proof the system needs to change. But they did have that incident. And again, it was very well documented. I don't know how you can go without reporting that. Now, this reporting system was launched in the wake of the Columbine shooting, but much like the Arapahoe High School incident, Columbine itself would not count under these rules. Again, because the shooters died and were never disciplined. We'll continue to dig into this statewide data this week and tell you what else we find.